Hey, what is going on guys? This is Ben here and today I'm going to be bringing you another Broom Beach video and this is going to be a little bit different of a video. I've never really edited a video in this way, but it's literally just going to be me like playing, but I'm going to be just, like speaking raw thoughts off the top of my head. So it might be a little bit choppy because I might cut out some parts where I'm just like, kind of bland, but I hope you guys will enjoy this style of video. And today though, we're going to be talking about the Scorchers and why, why the title is Bye Bye Scorchers because I feel as though they will not be the same after this update. So there's a couple of reasons behind this and I'll try and explain myself throughout the video. I'm not going to be boosting any statues at all. Um, they're just going to be sheer scorchers alone and they're only I'm only using seven of them, not eight like normal people, but all right. So let's get started here. I'm just going to start out uh, attacking. I will attack him later see if I can beat him on boosted, but all right. So basically why I think the scorchers are going to be changed in this next update or something's going to be built to counter them is because of how strong they actually are. Literally, the Scorchers like can run over bases without having casualties, without dying, so you can just do attack after attack after attack. And I know you may say because I have maxed, but I feel as though since the Scorchers have been out, many people have gotten the max now, and they're starting to see the same things that I am. Because uh, if you can do attack after attack after attack without a troop dying and you're just they're, you're not having to reinforce them. That's like losing a company money. So let's look at this from like a business standpoint. They, they added a troop into the game. It's it, it was it was good for because some people initially max them out and level them out. But now once they're out, they're really really strong. And I'm just talking about I'm not talking about super high up there on the leaderboards like uh, max level players who boost all ice statues and everything like that because. Uh, the majority of players are between, I'll show you the stat, like the majority of players are probably around my level count because you can see I'm at 729 medals and there's only 2,862 people ahead of me in the US and I'm pretty sure it's a slim margin around the world too of people that are ahead of you if you're around this medal count. My, what I think is like the majority of players are like probably a little bit below like 600 medals, maybe 700, no, maybe like 600 to like 300 medals are like a huge majority of the players, um, but let's let's th throw out the people like 400 some medals um, below because they don't really have scorchers. So I feel as though like, if you're able to run over a base and not have to reinforce them, it's typically going to lose a company money because you're not having to in, in turn spend diamonds to finish them or anything like that. Um, you may say the upgrade time on them is very long, uh, but yes, but you typically don't lose them if you attack with them. So that's why I feel as though like they're not gonna be changing. And even I saw I've seen a lot of boot tramps video where if he's using just scorcher tanks, like he barely gets any, any casualties, guys. So they are very, very strong. I feel as though something defensive wise is gonna be to counter them. Uh, either they're gonna change their stats from a lot of health. Because if you boost, if I boost my scorchers, I literally can just drop them on pretty much any base. Uh, maxed out or not uh, if they're not boosting ice statues or have like more than like three ice statues I don't even have to like use my gumboat and typically I won't lose a single scorcher so They're very strong. That's why I feel as though that is a sense you guys can disagree me disagree with me all you want um, This is just from personally using them and seeing how Destructive they can be. Um, I know a lot of people that are like higher metal count than me. Yes, they might disagree because of the boosted ice statues that they run into it kind of gets a little difficult but it's just i feel as though something defensive wise or changing their stats is gonna happen to them because they're just too strong like for me to just drop my troops not have any of them die or anything like that um supercell is going to take it take it that into consideration from a business standpoint and for a player standpoint for their defenses because if you're if you have some high level defenses and you're not even destroying one of their troops the, um pe players are gonna get kind of mad because like they're gonna say they're unbalanced and everything like that so super solid feels though are definitely gonna look into them um for, for their sake and for players sakes another thing i want to mention as well uh players do around most of the time when they're around uh, or have a lot of medals they typically to clear their map a lot of them boost so like taking that in consideration as well with many people boost just to clear their maps and maybe attack for operations attack for dr terror so the scorchers being this strong um for just cleaning the map purposes 
that's a, and like most people boost like say you just boost the health these guys are almost invincible um so i don't know guys i just feel as though there are going to be some changes to them like looking at it from supercell's business standpoint and from player standpoints is like how can you not i mean it's i understand like attacking is very very strong in this game but like there's there comes a point where it's too strong uh that's just my opinion of course you guys can definitely disagree it's it's not black or white everyone can have their own opinion um but i think i'm gonna be getting off that topic now let me know what you guys think in the comments do you think there's gonna be some new defenses to counter the scorchers do you think they're gonna change their stats like the biggest thing is just they have so much health like if you boost a defensive statue like oh my god they they're like freaking mini hqs walking around or running or driving around the map so let me know your thoughts on this i'm gonna attack these next two players though and hopefully i'm not boosted so this guy's level 57 and i want to see if i can take them out without boosting um I want, I'm, I'm hensing without boosting because normally when i attack with scorchers i do boost and if i don't lose a single one that's it's pretty crazy and it does not look like i'm gonna be losing any on this attack here Go down. Take out the shock launcher. There we go. This guy didn't have any ice statues, did he? Yeah, he's level 57 without ice statues, so. But still, those are high level defenses, guys. And boom, there we go. Now we're gonna be taking on that level 67. Let's find our way over there. Where is he? Or 61. <laughs> 67. <laughs> be years before we can get to level 67, but okay. Dropping the troops. We're doing this conventional style. Taking out boom cannons first, shock and shocks. Oh man. Oh, we'll take out this one. Oh, we're about to lose this Scorcher. Oh my goodness. Shock and shock. Cannons are hurting pretty bad, guys. So we did lose one Scorcher. If I only lose one or two, we'll call it a success. Alright. Keeping that Shock Launcher shocked. Put the focus down on the Boom Cannons. We lost two Scorchers, oh no. We lost three Scorchers, oh no. If I was boosting, we probably wouldn't have lost any. So if I could just boost GBE, it would be a lot better situation as well. So we lost three Scorchers. Uh, we're, we may lose, I don't think we'll lose anymore actually. They have a lot of health left so i'm gonna just drop down the make it for him because why not they need to kill a shock launcher get smart there we go rocket launcher go down and hq all right so you can see unboosted i'm still able to beat a level 61 with ice statues and everything like that when typically any of the any other of my troop compositions i do not think i can beat a max level player without boosting statues for the current troops that I have. So, if I was boosting GBE, that would help out a lot, and the health, because Scorchers have immense health. My GBE is crazy when it's boosted, so, yes. you can. I think that justifies a reason why, to that I feel as though they're gonna get freaking nerfed, or they're gonna get a defense to counter them. Uh, but you guys can disagree, like I said, but, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I know it was a little bit different one. I, I literally was just shooting ideas off the top of my head as they came to me. I didn't really plan on anything before. I just wanted to kind of give you my thoughts on them because I've been thinking about it for a while. Like, you guys heard me talk about it probably a very long time ago too. Like, you know, Scorchers, man, they're gonna get, they're gonna get, they're, they'll be hurting sometime, sometime in the near future. But that's gonna wrap it up for this video guys. I do have a really sweet defensive building ice statues. You, you see it, it took like four tries to get this one. All the other ones were like plus 18, plus 20. So uh, I'm gonna be placing this one, I believe so. 
Uh, I just don't know exactly when I get what I want to get rid of, but by the time this video is up, it'll probably be already placed. Uh, but that's gonna wrap it up for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe for more Boom Beach videos if you have not already. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night, and I'll see you guys later.